Losing a loved one is a stressful and upsetting time, and finding the right information about funeral services is difficult, especially at such a trying time. In this video, we'll go over cremation, an alternative to the traditional funeral process, from start to finish. We hope this will help you decide what's best for you and your loved ones in the memorial process. We are Lincoln Heritage Life Insurance Company, your number one resource for final expenses and funeral education. If you find this video helpful, please make sure to subscribe by clicking on the icon in the bottom right corner of the video. There are many reasons why cremation has seen a rise in popularity over traditional burials, with now over half of Americans choosing cremations as their final burial option. Cremation allows the deceased to pre-plan their arrangements, sparing their grieving family members the stress. Cremation is also less expensive and requires less time than burial options, while still allowing families to hold a memorial service. There are two main types of cremation used in America today. Direct cremation uses heat as its main decomposer, which results in fewer ashes. It's often the cheapest type of cremation. Liquid cremation, sometimes called alkaline hydrolysis, is a newer and greener alternative to direct cremation. Liquid cremation uses one-eighth of the energy of a cremation chamber and is becoming a more popular choice among the environmentally conscious. However, not all states have approved of liquid cremation, with only half of U.S. states legalizing the process so far. Now that we know what cremation looks like, you may be asking, what does the process entail? Let's find out. There are six main steps involved in the cremation process. First, we need to correctly identify the deceased, which is generally confirmed by a family member, though this can vary state by state. Upon confirming, the identity is placed on the body, which will remain throughout the process and then be put with the remains for final verification. Next, the person making the final arrangements will need to then complete paperwork authorizing the cremation to proceed. The paperwork also asks for information regarding the type of container the crematory should use and who will be responsible for picking up the remains. Once the green light is given, the body is prepared. All jewelry and other items are removed and given to the family for safekeeping. The body is placed in a vessel that is combustible yet strong enough to hold the weight. A purpose-built industrial furnace or cremation chamber exposes the body to flames and extreme temperatures, leaving behind only ashes. Post-cremation, any metal fragments remaining from past surgeries or other reasons are removed, and the ashes are further ground down resulting in the final ashes. The ashes are then placed in an urn or other container as requested and returned to the family. While it's true that cremations are less costly than traditional burials and take less time, there are significant costs associated with the process. As with all burials, it is important to think about how you'll pay for the process and lessen the financial burden on your loved ones. Final expense life insurance is one way to have your affairs in order in the case that something unforeseen happens to you. These policies aid in pre-planning and paying for end-of-life expenses associated with funerals and cremations. For more information, please contact the team at Lincoln Heritage Life Insurance Company. We would love to help answer any questions or help you plan for the costs, benefits, and procedures involved for each type of funeral service.